Welcome back EOS community. Hopefully you've watched part one of our how to use Clios video. This is part two. Where we're going to talk through some of the context sensitive help that will um, really, really aid uh, you in figuring out what kind of commands are needed or at least the syntax for the commands in order to interact with the blockchain. So um, something that's really important to understand is because we told you that there are three different parts, the interaction with the Nodeus um, software itself means that you have to interact with an actual blockchain. We aren't going to run that on our local node, right, or our local server. We are going to be interacting with the, the main net, and we are going to connect through to somebody else's API, uh, API endpoint or full node. So we don't have to worry about it. We can, you know, we can just uh, point, point our uh, Clios command where we wanted to go to. An excellent uh, point of reference for the Clios is the Clios command reference. Uh, which is also on the developers.eos.io website. All right, so I'm going to talk you through a few of the commands, right? And it's literally, you can do anything with Clios, but your best friend is um, the, the context-sensitive uh, context help. So let's try and uh, let's connect to one of the API full nodes and just understand what's happening on the blockchain at the moment. And when I say that, I mean, let's find out what kind of head block we have, uh, what kind of versions um, of software that that node is running and and what it, what the chain ID is so first of all it's uh, Clios minus u mean we're going to be connecting through to a, a different node https we're going to connect through with ssl to node one dot and we're going to say get info and we can see the server version of that specific node. There's the chain ID. That's the head block number. So a little bit of information there. Let's go and see some information on the test account that I've been using. So um, if we go and say get account uh, EOS voter test and get and we can see that there are the, there's the, the public owner and the public active key and we can see um, how much uh, network and how much CPU is actually being delegated. Oh, and we can see we're voting for one producer at this point. Now, it might seem a little bit full on, like how do I even know what these commands are like other than the command reference, but the context sensitive help is really, really good. So if we start off just by saying, okay, we wanna use Clios and we wanna to connect to that external Nodeus source. If we push enter, it'll show us all the options that are, that are available for us version, create, get, set, transfer. So to put it into perspective, most of the voting functions, those are all using system and uh, most of the, oh, and, and the transferring of tokens will be using the, the transfer. Um, as well as purchasing RAM, you would do that through system. So let's just have a look at a few of them. Let's first look at how you actually vote for someone. So it'll be system, if we just push enter, you see I'm just pushing enter and it gives me the next level of, of help that comes up. And uh, we are going to, uh, vote producer push enter again and we can see that it's clear system vote producer options sub command so we want to approve I'm also pushing up arrow just so you know I can push up arrow to my last command so it can easily show me uh, what I've just written and I can go through to the next level of the context sensitive help so we want to approve push enter up oh, still need some more options so it's approve then it wants to know voter and producer. So if we say we are uh, EOS, uh, what is that? EOS. EOS voter test, and we are going to vote for EOS for IOBP. There we've just put through an action. And now this is interesting. See how I voted just for one person? What that should do is it's actually going to counteract. Oh, actually it doesn't. Okay, that's great. So so we can see now we voted for Aloha and we voted for Eosphere IOBP. We can also vote for multiple at the same time by saying um, vote producer prods and then just listing them. You can just list a a two, a three, and, and you know, you can just vote for all the producers that you want in, 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 a, in a line. Um, another, other, another really good command would be uh, the delegate bandwidth command. So delegating bandwidth is essentially staking. Yeah, 
as you can see, delegate bandwidth. So delegating bandwidth is where you, you stake either your CPU or um, and your, your actual bandwidth itself. So if we go system, uh, delegate bandwidth, and we it'll then want to know from the receiver who is actually going to delegate the bandwidth and uh, who's going to receive it and how much net and how much CPU is going to be. So this is the syntax. Let me just quickly show you. So we're going to say we're going to delegate from EOS voter. So this is the person um, that's actually going to, uh, where the actual EOS is going to be uh, staked from. And we're going to do it to ourselves, right? You can also stake to somebody else. And then we're going to specify exactly how much network it's going to be. So let's say it was one EOS. And one EOS worth of CPU. And it's not going to go through because I didn't have a mount. Didn't have the right amount. And I didn't have a space. Anyhow, so I didn't have enough. So as you can see, quite a few, quite a few commands and the context sensitive help can certainly help you through it all. Um, you know, you can also buy RAM, you know, instead of writing it, you know, we could say, you know, using this remote uh, API endpoint, using the system command, buy RAM, EOS voter, for EOS voter. So it could be your account to your account and how much EOS you want to use. Um, and then of course, you can also, you can also transfer So what does it want to say? It wants to know the sender, the recipient, the amount, and the memo. So we're going to say EOS voter test to EOS fear for all. And we are going to say how much it's going to be. It's going to be one EOS. And we're going to give it a memo. Memo, hello. Doesn't, you don't have to say memo. You can just say anything you want. <laughs> test. And that'll mean that it will send one EOS if it was available in the account through to EOS fair for all. Obviously, I didn't have uh, enough available. If there are any commands that you're unsure of, um, why don't you come to the Telegram group and I can help you through how you, how you actually go about doing it. But as you can see, if you follow the context sensitive help and follow the command reference, you can literally do anything. Um, hopefully, this has been helpful just to show you how it all comes together. And um, yeah, come and speak to me if, if, uh, if you need any more assistance. Thanks.